guys, so today I'll be showing you how to get this dark brown cut crease. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let's get started. Okay, so I have already have my foundation and other eye concealer. And now I'm going to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids, you can use whatever you have, just to make sure that you apply some primer before the eyeshadows. And I'm setting it with a very sheer white eyeshadow. So for today's look, I'll be using the Nude Tude Palette by The Balm. If you prefer wearing more natural eye makeup, then this palette is going to be exactly what you need. You can create lots of different kind of everyday looks with these shades here. And it has some darker colors if you want to do something bolder. And I love that all the shadows are so pigmented. Look at that. I will upload a photo on my Instagram with swatches. So if you're interested, I'm going to have my name somewhere here. So you can go and check it out. Okay, so now I'm going to take the eyeshadow called So Tree and I'm going to buff it in my crease. Now on an angled brush, I'm going to take the eyeshadow called Sleek and I'm going to carve out my crease. So I'm just creating a line slightly above my actual crease. Now on a small blending brush, I'm taking again that eyeshadow coat saw tree and I'm blending everything out. I'm going also with a big fluffy brush just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. So you can definitely stop here but I want to make it just a little bit darker and I'm going to apply one more layer of that eyeshadow coat Sleek, it's this one here. So again I'm taking it on an angled brush, just a very very small amount and I'm cutting out the crease. So one trick here is just to tilt your hair, your hair, your head back. <laughs> and now with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to drag it up so I diffuse that harsh line that I just created. And then again I'm taking a clean blending brush and I just blend everything out. So this is how it looks a little bit darker, on this side it's just a little bit softer, you can do whatever you like, but I just prefer it this way. So I'm going to do the other eye just real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so next I'm taking the eyeshadow coat Sassy and I'm applying it all over my eyelid with a flat brush. I'm also going to use it to carve out the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to apply eyeliner and I'll be using the Schwing Liquid Eyeliner by The Balm. I'm taking again that eyeshadow coat So Tree and I'm just going to run it underneath my lower lash line. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes with this highlighter here. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. So I just apply some false lashes 
And now I'm going to apply in my waterline the Essence Gel Eye Pencil in shade Coco Bean. Now that dyes are complete, I'm going to finish up the face and I'll be using this shade right here to contour. This is again that Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. For blush, I'm using this one here. This is the ELF Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Kit. And for highlighter, I'm using the same that I used to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. I'm lining my lips with the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in shade Vintage Rose. And then I'm applying a lipstick by NYX in shade Perfect Top. So this is the finished look, I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my tutorials. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page. I upload close-up photos of my makeup and stuff like that, so go check it out. I will have them listed down in the description box. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!